And welcome back. This is Coattail for another War Rights event. We have a Hagerstown Turnpike. And for UEC, server number one, uh, currently 201 or 200 in the server pop, 101 on the defending CSA, 99 on the attacking Union. Let's take a look at that CSA team. I'll start out with the already back here. Looks like we got one crew under Perkington from MBAT. Looks like they have might have some already as well, but uh, for their infantry, it looks like we've got the NYV, both 6th and 88th. We've got the 20th Georgia. We've got the 4th New Jersey. We've got the 6th Texas. And then we've got the 8th Florida joined by the 13th Georgia. And then for their commanders, we have Souther leading 88th, Pixel leading 4th New Jersey, Captain Fritz leading 8th Florida, Captain Rousseau leading the 6th Texas. Uh, 20th Georgia Parker leading the NYV and the Jumbo leading the 20th Georgia. Alright, let's, the right uh, right, let's see. That's it for Artie, but they do, if they do have... Engage, we can fight well, we'll do uh, Union yeah, Infantry right. first, why not? They have A and V. Nerd. Looks like we've got two corps joined by the uh, Dad's Army there, two USC. We've got a second element of A and V. We've got Lee's French Legion. And we have 52nd New York. O'Keefe is leading 52nd. Ark is leading LFL. Let's see, we've got Gamebot leading the A and V, one element. And then we've got Killer leading another element of it. And then we've got Eddie leading the combined 2 USC 2 core. And then let's take a look at their arty. They have LFL here with one gun under Sergeant Jackson Tells. I wonder what he's going to tell us. And then we've got Lieutenant Bush leading the A and V. Batteries. So we've got two Union batteries. We are live at 40. Uh, this game, again, if you are coming in, you know, you're like, well, how did this end up in my uh, queue? This is the game called War of Rights. It is a Civil War first-person shooter. Everyone you see here is an individual player. And they uh, cooperate as teams uh, in these battles here that are set during the Maryland campaign. This Pacific map is specific map, I should say, not the Pacific. It's not the Pacific. It's specific. But anyway, it is the um, Antinum, specifically Hagerstown Turnpike. So in the 8th Maryland Campaign of 1862. Um, this event is an organized private event. Oh, by the way, you can pick up the game for 30 US dollars via Steam. Uh, this event is called the United European Community. It is a uh, group that gets together. There's actually two servers um, that are filled up. Uh, with members, this is server number one. It plays every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT if you are interested in getting your unit organized into it. And if you are a new or veteran player looking for a unit, there is there are links in the description to all of these uh, units here. Um, feel free to check out their Discord, see what they where they play, when they play, how they play. Move and if you're interested, the, uh, join up. Right, and uh, you can gain access to events like these. And, of course, uh, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content... Uh, the subscribe button will be in the lower right-hand corner of your screen uh, to see more. And then I always appreciate any assistance with the likes, subscribes, sharing, commenting, all that fun stuff, especially the comments. But um, to kind of zoom out here, the point of contention is right there. CSA spawn is back here, and Union spawn is right there. So it looks like we've got an early movement mostly to the hill here. And it looks like Fritz is in the lead trying to occupy this hill. He's starting to take a little bit of fire down the road here, but the rest of the CSA is forming up a lot of lines here to kind of draw off the Union here. I want to see where this initial engagement comes from. Here comes the 4th New Jersey under yeah, Pixel, sorry, hey, hey, who is punching forward a little bit here. Alright, full back. Usually when I have it on the fence, I... I'm going to get a quick shot, and then they're going to fall back, but then we got major action here by A Florida, but he is outnumbered, and Fritz is going to try to get his men out of there before they get ambushed by the A and B. And he is going to retreat back to the fence, so, so far, the A and B has managed to take control of this hill. independence. Enemy southwest flag in front of you us. You can see the Line enemy flag us. if you. I suggest we move down a bit to the right so we have a better visual. I say go, run forward, fire back. It's six out. Move.
little pop volley there from 6AL for the A and V. So far the Union is doing a very good job of maintaining this hill, which I think they believe is the decisive the point on the battlefield. And they are holding strong. Now, keep in mind, as a defender, you want to try to um, eat the clock as much as you can while minimizing your casualties and maintaining that key terrain that you need to maintain. And so far, the Union is doing that very well. Um, the CSA is forming pretty good. Here's um, O'Keefe out here with a 50-second. These guys love finding flanks. They are very good skirmishing force here. But uh, so far, the CSA is kind of spreading out a little bit too far, in my opinion, and getting in these individual engagements. I think they would be better served by finding a point of concentration. You don't need to put everybody on it, but enough that you can gain superiority somewhere. In the meantime, we've got the uh, batteries here starting to get into position. Let's see if we've got a shot here from the AMV battery. Am I good to fire? Ceasefire. 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 Ceasefire.
Alright, about face, bring your reloads. Double quickly to the north. And Hiller's gonna get his men back under cover. They don't want to uh, give the enemy too much of a ticket advantage. Ah! And Ark is going to maneuver his men back behind the cover from the two USC and two core. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. So let's zoom out here so we can kind of see uh, how the battle is shaping up here. The Union's actually doing a pretty good job of maintaining a decent amount of control. Um, but the problem they're running into is you know, now the CSA, I would say, has kind of smartened up a little bit. Not smartened up, but I think is doing a better strategy. They're being a little bit more consolidated on some strong points, like right here and right here. And you got one covering for us all the way back there. Um, which is engaging the 52nd over on that corner. Just make sure the Artie doesn't get flanked. But it's going to be very hard for the Union to really punch through in any single area. Um, it actually becomes out of bounds very quickly for the Union around this corner, and the CSA can easily regress into the woods. Um, this is a little bit easier, this position right here. I, this is probably the biggest weakness, um, this center position. But the danger with that is it's vulnerable to reinforcements from that position and possibly this reserve element back there. And actually, you can see the Union's concentrating their fire on that center realm, and they're going to have to re to readdress. There is a possibility to make a move back here, um, but they're going to need more than just a 50-second to do that. They're going to need a pretty sizable element, so we will see how that all develops here at the uh, sort of approach 30-minute mark. On the fences. Fire. Oh, wow. Not well. Far away. Uh, independent fire. Uh, uh, independent fire. Uh, Independent fucking weapon issues like a fucking like bitch. Remember, boys? We have five, and that means it's fucking fuck, boys. Fucking fuck. fuck, fuck. So, right you now, after, after, you know, we're it. at almost 10 minutes of combat, and we are not yet half a morale state. Maybe about half, more than half, half, about a half a morale state, I'll say. I'm down for both teams, but again, this is working out very well for the CSA. The Union is going to have to figure out a way to. Bring up the pressure here. This is not... They're going to have to figure out an angle of attack. Now, there's no Steam Chat in this game mode um, in the UEC event. I should not game mode, but UEC event. Um, so, you know, everything has to be coordinated by, our, by our runners. Now, I would say the CSA is in a much better position based on their interior lines here to actually coordinate. It's going to be much harder for the Union to cooperate. But that goes back to what I think the CSA has to look at... I'm sorry, the Union has to look at angles to hit the CSA at um, where they can get the maximum benefit from. Um, I honestly think it's either this center position right here or hit NYV right there. Um, the problem is it's very observable, any kind of movement you make. So maybe this position right here is the most... Uh, the one you can get the most out of. But, um, you know, it's 88th there. They're pretty sure, you know, sharp. They might just fall back on you. Let's we check back up on the already, see if they've gotten it up into that forward position they like to get it. Ooh, Bush just got nailed. That looks like it did some damage. Nice, okay. Now, both flags are down, so... You need to get both of those up, and good job by 6 Texas getting both of those flags up quickly. I will not yell at you. We have northeast uh, cannon. There's a better cover. Uh, they tried to shoot um, K Danny, we have a cannon northeast. We are shooting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
then just more to the left if you can, Russo. Yeah, yeah, we'll now, now, okay. Directly. Compañía, vámonos a la izquierda un poquito. 10 o 15 metros. Compañía de pies. Rus. Movemos hacia la izquierda. Marchen. Ese árbol es para la bandera nuestra. Venga, I think the enemy will have to hill. Bandera ahí detrás de la valla. Formar. Alright, so now we have a redeployment here by A and V. Or at least an element, 6AL of it. Um, to be honest with you, you have Killer over here. I actually think this is a bit of a waste for for the size of the element and the uh, amount of uh, punch he packs with that 10th AL. I think actually you want him as your assault element. I think he's actually a bit of a waste up on doing these volleys down here. Now he is tying down two pretty big elements here, 6 Texas and 8 Florida. So that, you know, that is a fairly, you know, big thing here. And he's also keeping the arty you know, in the fight, but I'm not sure how much... Well, let's see Forbin here. Let's see if he gets a... He's trying to get a shot off. Alright, very nice. Oh, Get your loads, boys. Oh, Come on, on game box. Six. Come on, move. Go, 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 Oh my god. Oh, it looks like 52nd got hit. I'm sorry, 2 USC got hit pretty hard by a cannon shot. I missed it. And Eddie's gonna move his guys back a little bit. Form 1 line independent. We don't have enough men to form 2, so form 1 independent. As they reach 1, they can make the 2nd for Eddie. Threshold's 10, we don't even have 10 yet. Oh. We've got about 9, 10, include a flag bearer. Fuck! Eddie, right oblique. Walking up the hill. You're on independent. You're on independent. Go nuts. Right oblique, boys. Independent fire. Right? So as we're kind of a little bit of a pause in the battle, you know, uh, everybody's basically in a static position. I'm not seeing too much maneuvering here. Um, we can talk a little bit about some of these units here. So this, for example, is the 52nd New York. Um, right now they're being led by Mr. O'Keefe. I've seen them led by a couple different people here. Um, you might recognize this gentleman right here. He is Andrew Walsh. He is a major part of the reenactment um, community and events. Um, so, and I've, I've seen John Beck lead multiple times. I'm trying to see if I see any other guys I see lead. Oh my God! Frank, he's another guy. He needs a lot. Um, but um, they do a lot of um, very disciplined units. Um, I believe German language. Um, primarily, um, although, you know, Andrew, you know, most of them speak English just fine, um, better than I do, frankly, um, but they do a lot of these small units kind of engagements, they, they like operating by themselves, um, but they, I've, I've noticed they usually have a very keen awareness of the strategic situation, so, you know, if you're a German player looking for units, or any kind of player, but, you know, German primary language, um, and if you're looking for a unit that's kind of small, kind of tight-knit, but um, kind of has a very good strategic sense and knows uh, how to um, impact the battlefield in ways that are not, you know, necessarily in the main portion of it, they might be a unit to take a look at. Reload! Reload! Granite! Yeah, so one guy up, yeah. So we got up to 210. Not too bad. Right. Still even on teams, though, which is nice. How many of you have the AC track? Check. 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 Check.
I want you guys. I want you guys to. I want you guys to load back and ball, so let's give him one more volley and then you load back and ball. Take aim. They're coming right, they're coming right. Well, I'm on right my right side. now. Light on his right, light on his right, quickly, quickly. So delay that previous order. Take aim in the bushes. I don't know. Oh, those motherfuckers fucking never shoot. Cover arms, cover no, arms. No I don't know why they have a gun. There we go, Union has now hit engaged at 22 minutes. They are starting to mass up a force here in the center here. I imagine they're going to start looking to do an attack. In fact, they might already be doing one, and Killer is in the lead over here. Oh, they messed up a little bit too much close to the yard, and you see they made him pay for it. But Killer is already on the move here, and he is going to try to take out 4th New Jersey. I would say he needs more than just himself, though. He'll be able to beat this element, but more of the Union, I'd say, should be committing to this charge. Okay, they were. I just didn't see him over the bush. So, good initial charge here by the A&V. Swallowed up the 4th New Jersey. And now, with that element up there fixing them, here comes A&V to sweep aside. A classic fire and maneuver by the A&V. Oh, but there's a counterattack here by the 88 who's going to try to knock out... The oh, A and B, yeah, yeah, good awareness here by the 88th New York. Um, it looks like, though, here comes LFL. Arc is going to help um, them survive and get out of there. So a great, this is what I was hoping to see, and then a nice little attack on the center. And you can see that these elements over here have not reacted in time. Now, now you have six Texas and eight Florida moving out. Um, but if they're not, you know, they might be able to catch the Union here, but if they're not careful, they might get isolated here. And they might get caught out on this fence here if they can get their reloads in in time. You've got 52nd that's moved up here. Great job by the 52nd. And you've got an anchor here from the 2 USC and 2 Corps. And it looks like the Union is going to move to cap now. What they need to do is concentrate their fire as much as they can and just leave one element as a covering force against the N the uh, 6 New York over there. I would say the Union needs to focus on these elements over here. Oh, but Fritz is going to have to pull back after he got he got hit by A and V, who has recovered. And now there's one element that's stuck out here that needs to retreat very quickly. Six Texas is going to get isolated. They do not get out of there. They have no support around them. Now they do have nice concealment here in this, you know, little bush area here. But um, so they can get out if they need to. But if they stay too long, you've seen Killer do it before. He'll do it again. But Rousseau is smart. He knows this is not a sustainable position. And he's going to fall out. And he's going to get out of there. Um, so now, right now, as you can see, the, the Union has kind of reset the battlefield. They have retake, they have taken the point now. They have capped it. And they have basically a defensive line over here. The CSA still has a strong force in the woods over there. And another contingent anchored on that Artie position right there. And Artie is going to continue hitting the Union line on point. They only have 11 minutes, so, to recapture it. So we'll see if they can. Right now, um, I would say it's time for one of... Um, they might not have a skirmish unit, so they might not be able to do it. Never mind. I would say this would be a good time to use a skirmishing line, but um, if they don't have any assigned skirmish units, uh, per the rules, they won't be able to do it. So that might be why they're not employing that technique right now. You can see Jumbo and Parker here putting in some heavy fire. Oh, and, and so, yeah, we've got uh, 50 seconds. going to displace a little bit to try to get out of that arty range. Uh, unfortunately, if the Artie is smart, what they're going to do is just move on to the next target right there. So I understand O'Keefe's desire to get a more accurate position over here, but the Artie is just going to move on. Here we go. I got you, Eddie. You, Ed, I'm watching you, Eddie. You said it's fine. Is it, Eddie? Is it fine? Do we have an attack developing out here? We do. Get here comes flag. GameBot has charged into 6 Texas here. And we'll see if they can knock down their flag. They have a nice little charge here by 6 Tech, by A&V, 6 Alabama. But he might get caught here by Pixel. 
He's going to try to get out of there. Oh, but no, that now they order counter charge. Unfortunately, they kind of gave their backs to uh, Fourth New Jersey, who had loads there. So they were able to wipe them out pretty easily. And now they can recover Six Texas's flag, which was the essential element there. Now we do have. Okay, Killer's now going to move up. Don't Rambo. And he might try to get him, but I think that element, Pixel's already getting out of there. Good job by Pixel. And Souther is going to move up with the 88th. Oh, nice volley there by A and V and has knocked down the flag there, but he's going to have to get out of there as Souther has put a nice uh, volley into his ass. But I'm sure they're very nice people, though. Now this, I would say, O'Keefe is uh, that was that was a good little maneuver here, but I, I'd be careful about staying here in this field in the open here, even with the flag respawn rate at five seconds now. It, it, I don't know if this position is sustainable for more than one or two volleys here. And O'Keefe says get backed. And that is, I think, the correct decision. Florida, about face and continue fire at will down the road. Good reorganization here by Fritz, along with 13th uh, Georgia, who has joined him. He's dealt with the immediate threat, and he has said, okay, now I'm going to reorganize my fire and start hitting on the higher priority. Now, the CSA has retaken the point. So a good job there. Looks like we have another charge developing over here. Who is this? The NYB charged forward. You cannot kill me. I'm a bad bitch. You can't. pass. Who is the worst? It was the Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to be able to sustain for very long. You heard me. We can see the Union is now falling a little bit behind on tickets. Okay, uh, let's about face the sprint. Let's just go. There's only three of us. This is not happening at the sprint. Serpentine, 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 more serpent. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Sound advice from Mr. Frog there. Yeah, I see that. We're holding this position for now. Oh, I'm bouge. I'm bouge. I'm bouge. I'm bouge. All right, so let's talk about another unit here for the CSA, who I haven't talked about yet. Uh, it's well, Six Texas, as you can see, is a Spanish unit. I've seen them play on uh, both of the UECs Friday and Saturday. Um, they're about a mid-sized unit. They are very aggressive. Um, they like getting into fights, from what I've seen. Um, they're not afraid to mix it up. So if you're looking for, you know, if you're a Spanish speaker, um, and you're looking for a unit that um, at those times, you know, again, uh, you know, they, they, I'm not sure about the other events. I'll have to look. But I know they play both the UEC events. So if you're looking for a unit um, that gets mixed in and uh, primarily speaks Spanish. Spanish? Spanish? Words. I check them out. Now, right now, we see the CSA, I think, has learned its lesson a bit here. And now they have a much more concentrated force here overlooking the point they still have some threatening elements over there but now it's i believe just one unit and it is in fact the 88th so the mass of their force has now been set up here in a very strong arc here supported by the artillery this is going to be much harder for the union to take out uh, but the union is going to try to hit souther right here and who's moving up me. on him oh you can't kill me. it is I'm killer in the a and v he has been aggressive this whole game and i approve you can't come. Uh, coming down the fence. Hey, right, right. Down the fence. 
bro, bro, back, back it up, up. Back it up. You're chatting a lot of waffle for a man wearing a nice hat. Back up. Yeah, do you yes, know what? Sir, I will listen, sir. I will remove <laughs> lower class chat. Oh, nice stab, man. There it is, back up. Ooh, yeah. NB, yeah. Good kill. Well done. And the A and V has won that fight, although LFL has Ark has come in as well. As the remnants will move back here, but now here comes, like I said, Six Texas looking to get into a fight. Is moving forward. Good use of concealment of the woods to try to, you know, mask their movement as best they can. You must still be more aggressive, and when we have the. We must uh, hold it with all costs. Aim. 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 Right. Okay, we'll try our best, but right now we're in look, looks like a holding pattern. Bomb. Bomb. And at all costs, we're literally sitting on the point. There's nothing down, much more we can do. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. From these pushing right. <laughs> yeah, so we'll stand for now. So it looks like we got a major push indeed here. It looks like Gamerbot and his buddies from the rest of the A and V are leading the charge forward. LFL is moving with them. Now this is an interesting maneuver here. Um, they have allowed Six Texas to get behind him. Um, so this, uh, we'll see how this develops here. I like the overall attack though. It's just a, a nice maneuver here by Six Texas. Uh, might be able to spoil this, we'll see. Oh my god, I have zero seconds. Oh, god, oh my yeah. god, border dead. And that was a very successful attack by the Six Texas. Now they will get swallowed up here, but it very much disrupted that line, and you heard they didn't even really, really know they were there. And that has completely broken up any organization of this attack here by that move by Six Texas. So well done by them. They did die, but <laughs> Mr. Immortal got the flag out. Well done to him, Reload. sir. Uh. Reload. Load. <laughs> I can't wait oh, to right. oh. check. 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 <laughs> On the smoke, aim at their chest, their stomach. Oh, oh movements! Fire! <laughs> that was not a good day for it. Really? No, you're right, okay. Guys, guys, the more for the cops, nope. the better we're doing. So, the more for the cops, <laughs> the more we're doing well. Well, that sounds like an unhealthy way to play. <laughs> That's meat, poor Fritz. Hey! Hey. Aim, James, aim at their stomach. Oh god. Fire! Jesus Christ! Oh god, boys. Somebody is dying right now. Check. Uh, looks like now we have 52nd has taken uh, that forward position here. And they are joined by a line from the A and V. Uh, we've got the two USC, two core element a little bit further behind, and then behind them, we've got the LFL. Uh, like <laughs> Nice already shot there by Mr. Bush in the A and V. And now what I do like to see here is the CSA is kind of moving up in a single mass here. Um, now the Union is starting to move up here, so I think it might be in time. We'll see. The problem is right now the point is actually a little bit further than you might realize. 
But you might think it's actually, you know, all the way back here is still within the point. So the Union's going to have to move up a little bit more to contest it. Now the key right now is you're going to have to concentrate your fire. Oh! Yeah, the Union is not having enough men forward on point to really um, sustain this. And I think the CSA is going to be able to recapture it. Pour une salve, sud-sud-est, vous visez en dessous des genoux, en joue. 3, 2, 1, et feu. Vas-y, qui nous vient, viens, sur la gauche. Le CKT USC is now maneuvering off over here. Um, they've already given up on the point. Uh, that means this is all going to be unsustainable. So the more units you drive off, the more you, you know, you kind of create a cascading effect. We fall on my right. Facing. Big ball on Jerry Gamebot's right! Facing that big tree, the prominent big tree! Come on! Quickly, boys. You can see move, hey, take aim, they move to the bounce. forest. Gamebot, they're moving to the right, they're moving to the woods! Fire! Fall back. Second, he's fire. Please. Yeah, right now 50 seconds is gonna have to get out of here, or they're gonna attract a lot of fire. Left face. Forward. Left face. Guide. He's gonna move forward. Ah, this is a little dangerous, I would say. He doesn't really have any support. In fact, this flank is now exposed here. The NYV actually came out and wiped out um, the A and V element that was out here. I missed it, so good good charge by the 88th New York. Yeah, right now you're facing the entire Union CSA line here. This is not a good spot for the 52nd. I do hear Eddie doing some fire into the flank over there, but it's not going to really make too much of a difference here. Yeah, I know you don't want to do it, but you don't really have a choice, man. Unfortunately, I think just going up to the point is not going to be sufficient. The CSA is in too much of a, you know, concentrated force element here. That's going to make any movement towards the point um, ineffective. And it's just going to get beat to hell by concentrated fire. In fact, I think they just deleted the 52nd as they were trying to get out of there. Because that's that flag on the ground. I don't know if any of their men made it out. I think they might have completely deleted that unit. Uh, that shot was way short on fuse time. I don't know what was up with that shot. Effect, keep clapping. Now, I would say they do need to recover that other flag. I know it's not yours, but get it up so the other 52nd can get back into this fight quick. I mean, they all spawned at main, but... I have Blue has a dream. I have Blue has a goal. Who needs cover? That's for the weak! Find it where it's right anyway. Eddie, they got closer. Hey, I found some pretty cool cover. Yeah, go on, scoot, moving south. Aether is a wise man. Enemy hard left, stars and bars. Enemy hard left. Enemy hard left, stars and bars. Bar. Thank you, thank you. You killed their officer. That was their bullet, sir. Nah, I did it. We're not Confederates. Dead. I did it. Friendly second point. Yeah. It takes the point. 
Check if you have bayonets, boys, just in case. Alright, so A and B is still here, but they are taking a lot of fire. They are getting some... Looks like another element of A and B is moving up, but they're actually going to move over to guard this flank here, and it looks like Roussel was looking to get an angle on him, so we might have a little meeting engagement up here. Let's see who gets the shot off first. Another counterattack going off. As you can see, the CSA doesn't even really need to move up that much. In fact, I think Fritz is overextending himself a little bit here. I, I, I actually not sure about this. Maybe he's going to try to charge him out and get him uh, into the last stand. But uh, I think he's making a mistake now. He's exposing himself to a lot of fire here. That's Fritz's plan. He says he's going to endure and let the other units maneuver off of him. Captain. You have entered more than this. Florida, brace right, brace right, fire at will. Brace right, brace right. Brace right, make a line on the right. Easy shot, just fucking ball. Brace right. Sure, man. Receive the tip. Hey, yo. On the right, on the right, right and left. How are you still alive? Kill them as they come, left to Keep the fire up, keep the fire up. What? Aim for the god. We're the only unit here now. Okay! Almost, almost, almost. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Alright, well now the Union still uh, has not gotten there, but they've gotten the CSA a little bit closer here, so I think they might need to uh, maintain that kind of pace here. Target of opportunity. Of, dri of driving them... Uh, I would like into these engagements here on point. I think that's the only chance they got right now. You have to be in a line. You can't just hide behind the rocks, apparently. They're moving to the right, guys! Look at the second you're ready, fire. No, are they still on point? Uh, at, what do, at what do Grand Arbre do? Oh, wait, there's a group far back. Ah, right. Gilles entre les deux arbres. Yeah. Attends, far, no, so don't far back, right. Shoot along the fence. Uh, okay, uh, uh, ouais, there's a unit that comes to the point. Yeah, there's a branch just behind. Yeah, they're split. They're split. And there's a pile in front of you. You can run a briefing yard. They're in front of you, I think, right? No, no, no. There's still one here. Be Yankees right. on the point. Oh, yeah, right in front of the point, boys. Start lining up. Uh, so it looks like it was a canister shot, but it was a little bit too low. Did not impact the 6 New York. And it looks like the Union is going to pull off. I believe they do not want to cap at this point. They might just want to try to draw the CSA out a little bit. Although not all of them are retreating. <laughs> We've got another wide flank here. Here's an attack by Rousseau. Again, I like the approach going through the concealment. Okay, 
And they're gonna pull out in time. Where's the CSA already? Where are you? Here you are. Hey, we're, we're going. Going. Yeah, no. Somebody's loaded. Hello, dude. Yep, got On it. me. Let's go. Hey, On the first of the time, let's go. Right to the tree. Excellent. No, yeah, there's a circle. Load. The unit's gonna cap again with the CSA very close to breaking, a little bit off of it. Check! Okay. Company's loaded! Oh, sir! Just right. Oh. Oh, One more seal. canister? Hey! hey. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna shift as well. Keep firing, boys. Last shots, then we'll move to the right. Everyone else, to the okay. right, quick mark. Let's go. To the right, Union flags, north, north, northwest. Uh, go, 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 go. Keep running, keep running. Looks like Pixel's gonna try to do a little raid go against quick. the Artie. Uh, looks like he's on a good okay, infill right, round, right so I think he'll be successful in that. One minute remaining. One more volume. Still alive. Didn't take many casualties. All right. And that was a successful raid, but now the Union is on point, and this might be the win right here. Oh, nope, here comes a counterattack. Can they hold? Can they win? The Union might be able to pull this out here with a good concentrated charge here. And they're staying a little bit too far back here, and that will be a Union, union yep, Union won. Good job at the end there. They were they were kind of falling behind, but then they got concentrated and pushed up like they needed to. Um, so well done to the Union. A and V knows indeed. Pretty static in the beginning there, but then it picked up by the uh, midpoint. I'm starting to see some interesting maneuvers. Um, although, you know, both teams are massing up. That's, that's kind of how you have to go now, in my opinion. You could do little raids here and there to have, you know, minimal effects. But, you know, the decisive point is the decisive point. Wow. Look at those casualties, though. Anyway, we've got one more, and uh, see you all for the next one.